the guideline, new guideline that we have uh, produced in the European Academy of Neurology is uh, uh, about treatment of, of cluster headache. It is not about pathophysiology or diagnosis or anything like that. It has been a long process with this guideline, but uh, we ended up with uh, to, to recommend medical treatment, pharmaceutical treatment uh, based on the existing studies and also some of the uh, new modulation studies as well. The problem with uh, guidelines, and uh, especially in cluster headache, is that there hasn't been that many new studies uh, in, in, in cluster headache. It is a very difficult area, and we are relying on, on the uh, old studies that has been done 10, 15, 20 years ago, and still uh, using them because they haven't been repeated or, or, or improved. So um, we are many years behind uh, in, in the migraine field that where there has been many, many new studies and uh, new treatment strategies. Unfortunately, the acute uh, the acute treatment in in our guidelines was that, that it is oxygen on a, a proper mask and a high flow, 12 to 15 liters per minute. Very important, and you can use it as many times as you want during a day. It has a, a, a high level of uh, evidence, and, um, and, and recommendation level is high. Uh, triptan, either injectable or uh, as a nasal spray, somatriptan or somatriptan, uh, is also on the list of high uh, level of evidence, whereas tablets are not uh, on, on the list or very low due to the um, long uh, time to efficacy. And uh, that is not useful in, in, in cluster headache because the attacks are extremely in intense but they are also short lasting, so tablet doesn't work. The issue here is that in many countries in Europe and the rest of the world is that injectable or nasal spray of triptan are not available. So uh, people are to to keep up with tablets and uh, they're not that effective. effective uh, and oxygen is difficult to, to get hold on and also expensive so it's very impractical so uh, it's not ideal world but um, that's what we have for uh, so call acute treatment this is the individual attack then we have a transition and that's steroids and the high level of evidence here is uh, occipital nerve blocks uh, that we, we recommend and then there's oral uh, tablet, but but it is not only uh, for uh, for the episodic bout where there's evidence now. Uh, long long uh, trial that has been carried on in, in Germany, but um, in the chronic patients that have attacks every day, it is not ideal because there are so many side effects with, with uh, steroids. So. The level of evidence is high for injectable uh, steroids, but not for, for the, the tablets due to the side effect profile. Yeah. And going into the prevention, that is the ultimate goal in, in cluster headache is to prevent the attacks to come. Uh, is still the rather mill in, in uh, that, that is the golden standard. We have very little evidence for the rest of them. Uh, uh, the lithium or candacetam or, or the old drugs that has been used in gabapentin and uh, pregabalin. Uh, there's no evidence for that. And uh, but it's a trial and error, uh, and up to the clinical uh, uh, clinician to decide because uh, patients cannot tolerate the rubber mill, then we are left with very little blocks, actually. Uh, and the, the antibodies, the CGRP antibodies that is used in, in migraine, are very effective and have changed the landscape, in, in, in especially in chronic migraine. Um, they have not been very successful in cluster headaches so far, 
Um, the only study that has been completed is uh, with galganesumab, a higher dose, three times higher dose that we use in, in a migraine, and it is only proven to be a, a, a effective in uh, the solid cluster, and a proof of that not in chronic, it was negative. And uh, we are waiting for new studies to to see the results there, but uh, there are ongoing studies both in chronic cluster and uh, the epicytic cluster, and we haven't seen the results yet.